Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are back at it again with another love reading. I love my love readings. I love them, they're so fun. So today we're gonna to be doing how and when will you meet your person? So this is an 18 plus reading. So if you guys are not 18 plus, then please click off this video now. And I will be doing another one like this that isn't 18 plus very soon. So please look out for that maybe in the next few videos. So I will be doing another one very soon. So those of you who are under 18 can watch that as well. So let's get started with the reading. We have group number one, group two, group three, and group four. So please choose your group. I'm gonna be putting the crystal cards on now. Okie dokie, so we have group number one, group two, group three, and group four. So please choose your group now. If you want some extra time, please pause the video. All the timestamps, as usual, will be down below in the description box and also in the comment section. So let's get started with group number one with the citrine. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the citrine. So citrine is a really beautiful crystal to get you up and going. This is a really beautiful crystal also for helping you manifest wealth and abundance and money. It's just a really good happiness crystal for those of you feeling very low or feeling a bit confused. This will help you to kind of clear your head, but also to help you recognize Kind of what it is you need to really focus on and work through and get your drive back as well so we're going to put her down over here so we're going to have a look at the tarot in just a second um first we're going to have a look at the oracle cards and then we'll go back to the tarot so let's have a look at kind of the general energy around your person what your relationship's going to be like all of that sort of stuff so let's see what we got here oh look at the little baby so cute so cute so first of all, the thing I'm getting first of all is that, first of all, first of all, <laughs> I always repeat myself in reading. So first of all, the message that I'm getting is that you guys might manifest a little baby boy. Not for all of you guys, but it may be that you're kind of, it could be you're working on your masculine energy as well. You're working on having a stronger connection with masculines as well. I do feel like it's a manifestation of something you've been really, really wanting. So this soulmate is very, very important to you. I do feel like this person is somebody who you definitely will have children with if you want children and if that's something that you're looking for, definitely having children. I do feel like communication is going to be really important with your person. I feel like when you communicate, it's almost going to be this very sexual energy because it's something that really turns you on. It could be something that is just very, very fiery for you. It helps you understand yourself better and your person better and it just really helps you to feel safe and therefore helps you to feel very, very comfortable. So I do feel for you guys... You are definitely returning back to your soul when you meet your person. You're going to be in a really, really good space. And I feel like you've been really working on yourself in terms of tenderness and really kind of comfortable energy. And I feel like you guys are somebody who most likely is going to be a fire sign, I feel. It doesn't have to be, but your person could be a fire sign or you are a fire sign. And you guys do tend do tend to rush into situations quite quickly. So it's kind of learning to slow down and have patience. And there was this quote that I had, I'm gonna see if I can quickly find it for you guys because this quote is really good. It's all about patience and kind of how to have patience and things like that. So let me see if I can just get it up. So it says, patience is not the ability to wait, but how you act while you're waiting. And that's what I feel like is a very strong message. It's definitely a message of waiting, but it's also worth the wait, okay? so. Obviously, we're going to have a look at the timing of things in a little bit later, but I do feel like you're going to meet your person at a time when you are feeling really, really good about yourself. I think you're going to have a lot of compassion for yourself and the person that you're going to be with has a lot of compassion for you as well. But I love this just ultimate kind of celebration of the soul, really coming back to yourself. And we have purification, this is communication with unicorn, purification, undercover action. And then we have dreams coming true, return of the soul. I'm hearing the song return of the Mac. Is that the right song? Is that the right title? Re return of the Mac, that one. I don't know. <laughs> I can't really sing it very well because obviously I might get demonetized. But yeah, I definitely feel like for you guys, it's really important to understand that everything will come into fruition. So all the worrying that you're doing, girl, don't even worry. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. You're gonna be sorted, okay? Just don't even worry about it. <laughs> so we have the whale of the tenderness. I love the connection of the two whales here. It's kind of like so insane. So I feel like you're going to be really, really in sync with your person. You're just going to be like, as soon as, soon as you're feeling down, your person's going to be like, what's wrong? Is there anything wrong? Is there anything that I can do? And I feel like you're both going to be very, very connected in that way. And I feel like blue and red is kind of like the, the feminine and the masculine. It's kind of like you both kind of being very in sync with each other. I do feel like you could be a water sign connected with a fire sign. Because I feel like this is more of the blue and this is more of the red. I just realized those two are blue and these two are red. I just, I literally just noticed that. So it's definitely two parts of your learning to kind of correlate so you can actually manifest 
the, the thing that you really want, there's something that's very mature, something that really, really suits you. And I do feel like with the tenderness, it's very much to do with kind of being in sync with your vibration. So if you are really working on yourself, you're going to manifest somebody who's also working on yourself, someone who's very, very mature. Okay, so let's get some details, details. Okay, so let's have a look at the zodiac sign. Okay, so we have conjunction, empowerment. We have semi sextile allowing, north node, Capricorn. Okay, so I do feel like around work that seems to be very, very uh, interesting here. It's definitely around work, I feel like is important. Work seems to be something that you really kind of focused on right now. It's something that you guys are possibly getting quite um, interested in. I do feel like, I mean, we have cancer underneath. So you guys could be connecting with a cancer or a Capricorn or somebody who is just very, very nurturing. You could have these in your chart as well. But I do feel like with cancer and Capricorn being the opposite signs, with kind of like if they're an MC or an IC or a North Node and a South Node, it's kind of, I mean, we do have the North Node here, which is so interesting. So you guys may have that North Node or South Node in your, sign in your um, birth chart but it could also be that you guys have this kind of MCIC situation going on so for you guys you're really manifesting a career for yourself that is very very positive and really kind of emotionally you can really get emotionally connected to it so when you do that you're going to be allowing new things to come in and because you are on the right path you know I mean you're always on the right path anyway but you're going more towards what you really love and that's going to bring you towards your soulmate and I do feel like it's definitely going to be in work or it's something to do with work it feels like something to do I mean if you guys don't work it could be university it could be something where you guys have some sort of like project together or this person could really give you an opportunity or something like that where they kind of come in I do feel like this person has also been really working on themselves I mean with the conjunction empowerment and the allowing they're really allowing things to kind of move through I do feel like it could also be a fixed sign as well there's somebody who isn't very good with change they're kind of learning to allow things to move through and they're kind of learning to just go with the flow because that's something that is very very good for them i do feel like it's somebody who could also be an earth sign i'm sorry i'm saying like so many signs but i'm getting so many different signs from this group i do feel like this person is trying to bring in more nature and i do feel like the more nature you bring into your life the more your heart shark is gonna rise sorry guys just burped i feel like that's clarification by the way I feel like your your soul's gonna rise because basically you're gonna be around nature and nature is the heart chakra so the more you do this the more your vibration is going to rise up rise up rising okay so when are you gonna meet your person and we're gonna get a number as well so let's do this part first okay so we have number three so number three it could be three months or three days three days okay that came out my mouth so three days or three months i'm feeling it could be the third month of the year as well like march i feel like for you guys it is quite soon i'm hearing for half of you it's really soon for half of you not so much so it depends where you are in your spiritual journey obviously because this is a general reading so we have Pluto and we have Libra in the third house. So this is going to be somebody who's really good with communication. There's somebody who is very balanced in communication. So they'll always listen to you when uh, you're talking. They'll always be very, very invested in you. And having Libra in their chart, they're really working on becoming balanced in their relationships. So when they're in a sort of, when they're in a very intimate relationship, they will be with you full on and they won't kind of ignore you or anything like that. They'll be very, very serious about it. And I'm hearing they'll see the wood for the trees. They'll kind of like make sure that when you are kind of upset or sad that they'll kind of comfort you and be there for you and be very, very vigilant. As somebody who's very like switched on sort of thing and turned on, I'm hearing <laughs> somebody when they meet you, they're gonna be like, damn girl, okay, okay. They're gonna be very, very turned on when they meet you. So with Pluto as well, Pluto is about expansion. It's the kind of, it's the planet that really changes things up. So I do feel like for you guys, you'll meet this person when things are starting to really switch up in your life, when you'll start to seeing massive changes and when things are just really, really shifting. I definitely feel like for work, work is very important for you guys. So let's get another timing and see if there's anything else that you wanna tell me. Okay, number 10, that is to do with career. So I do feel like it could be three to 10 months could be the 10th month as well. I do feel like you guys need to kind of use your intuition with this as well, because I do feel like for some of you guys, you're gonna meet this person and you're not gonna to be too sure on them. So it's gonna be needing to use your intuition as to if this is the right person. But I feel like for you guys, you're gonna be like, okay, well, they have the attributes that I saw in this reading. So maybe it is that person. I do feel like it's, it's like, as long as you are concentrating on like the 
good aspects and kind of like not being too overwhelmed by the sexual energy possibly that you guys are going to have. I feel like you guys are just kind of going to have to like back away from them for a little bit to kind of figure out if this is the right situation. I do feel like they may be a little bit blocked off to love at first. There's somebody who's quite practical so they may not see you first of all but I do feel like you're going to have this massive instant attraction to each other. It's going to be very very intimate and intense and very very gorgeous okay. So that is what I'm feeling. So let's have a look at your tarot and let's have a look at the more intimate parts. So we have the Hermit, beautiful. So I feel like for you guys, you're going for a very big transformation right now, which I know a lot of us are normally going for a transformation. That's like the tarot saying, you're going for a transformation, but I definitely feel like you are. I feel like you're really thinking about people that have possibly let you down and you're wanting to just really work with those emotions and it could be that you're kind of disappointed in your love life you're kind of feeling like you're not going to manifest anybody but that's not true you're definitely going to manifest somebody okay when you go into this hermit mode i feel like it's really important not to take it too seriously a lot of these energies are very very fluid and very they, they are very fluid so i feel like you're going to meet your person definitely oops let me meet, let me just move this mic sorry guys i don't know if it's rubbing against the zip that i have on my shirt there we go um, I feel like for you guys, it's just really important for you to embrace this change that's happening for you guys and also not to dwell on the past because I feel like the past is not going to be like this, this situation now. I feel like you've had some um, encounters sexually with people that have just haven't been up to the plate. You've been with people that possibly just haven't been able to give to you what you need. And this is in terms of like your love language. It's kind of like maybe you need someone to talk to you. Maybe you need someone to possibly give you compliments and things like that because that really encourages you, you know, to be kind of in your energy. So maybe you're really focusing on what it is that you need and you're needing to just really kind of focus on in on in on that as well. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look at the rest of the cards. I definitely feel like you guys are going for a very intense, intimate energy. And I feel like the Hermit, in a sexual sense, I feel like it's you discovering what makes you feel good in terms of intimacy. So you may be kind of experimenting with different things. You may be buying some new like sexual things to kind of like experiment with, especially being at home possibly quite a bit. You may be kind of thinking, hmm, maybe I want to kind of choose different things or I want to try different things. And why not? You know, it's very healthy to explore your own body because you have a body. You might as well explore it, you know, and that's healthy. That's something healthy to do. Whoops. My car just fell on the floor. Okay. I feel like you think love is getting away from you as well and it's not. It's definitely just an illusion and it's your mind kind of overwhelming you. So don't even worry about it, guys. Okay. So we have the magician right at the end. So I feel like this is going to be a very unexpected I'm hearing an unexpected message, so I do feel like you're going to get a message very soon as well. Very unexpected turn of events. I'm hearing that turn up the max song again. <laughs> Return. <on. laughs> oh my god. Okay. So this is really, really interesting. My camera is doing some really weird things. So I hope this is actually focused on the cards. Um, so yeah, okay. On overall, the energy I feel like is the Hermit and the Empress. Essentially, it's you focusing on yourself. That's going to get you towards your person. That's going to manifest you the best relationship possible and enable you to feel good. So the more independent you are, the better. And independence doesn't mean doing things by yourself. It can really mean just enabling you to really work on yourself and really kind of trust yourself, trust your own emotions and trust the things, a trust that you can handle things by yourself. And obviously you need, if you need help, talk to somebody, but it's really important for you to really just focus on your own journey. So first card we have is the Knight of Wands. Oh my God, such a sexual energy. You guys' sex life is going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be, okay, I'm hearing the word thrusting. So it's going to be very like, um, when you're together, it's going to be kind of like aggressive, but good way, okay, in a very healthy way, okay, um, with the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, somebody is going to treat you a lot, they're going to treat you with gifts, and it could be like sexual gifts, you know what I'm saying, like lingerie, and all those like really pretty things, <laughs> uh, I have Libra in my chart, can you tell, <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like it's really, really important for you to feel like you are somebody who's just really important to this person and you are going to be very important to this person. So I do feel like the energy around your top half is going to be very, very like touched a lot. Even in public, I feel like this person is going to be like squish, squish, <laughs> you know? So I do feel like it, you're probably going to be like, oh, don't do that in public, you know, like 
babe, <laughs> you know, I don't know, but I just feel like you guys are going to be quite cheeky with each other. And I love this combination of the seven and the three. Obviously, that's number 10. That's that's kind of um, endings and beginnings. So I do feel like you guys are going to have this massive build up to the sexual energy. So you may not be kind of intimate for a while when you're actually with them. But then when you finally kind of come to a decision as to when you want to actually do uh, the intimacy together and start being intimate I feel like it's going to be like a massive explosion it's going to be absolutely beautiful I feel like you're just going to be so connected to each other and you're going to really listen to each other I'm just getting this massive connection of like intimacy of in terms of like really listening to each other and I feel like you're going to, I feel like I'm actually hearing you guys might actually teach this person things like in terms of sexuality and things that you really enjoy it doesn't actually be, have to be things that you enjoy. It can be things that possibly you've done or wanted to do. And you're actually helping this person to kind of realise what your love language is and how to really have a gorgeous connection with each other that's healthy and kind of balanced, you know. Maturity. Maturity is here fully. And I feel like candles can be very important in your sex life as well. So that is what I'm picking up for you guys. I hope you guys like this reading. If you'd like a private reading, please look down below in the description box. I actually have an 18 plus reading available. If you guys would like to purchase that, that is the future love reading. You can just basically say I want the 18 plus version as well. Just message me on Instagram or email. All the uh, information is down below. Thank you so much for being here, guys. If you'd like to check out my crystal shop, that is down below as well. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading, okay? So this is the topaz. Oh, beautiful. So it says, when you're aiming in the right direction, but keep misfiring. Passion is totally indispensable, but if you're not careful with it, it might burn you up. Call on topaz to transform a wild, ob wild obsessions into laser-like focus and burning desires into getting things done. Increase your firepower. It says where to put it wherever the action needs to happen. It says anyone burning the midnight oil, the candle at both ends, bridges, all the above. So I do feel like for you guys, you're very passionate. You're the sort of person who is very, very intense when you kind of really, really want something. You're very much going for it straight away. And you're somebody who just really, 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 really wants to go for it. So I feel like the, with this group, I feel like you're going to have a sort of connection that is out of this world. I need to bet that is clarification. So <laughs> let's have a look at the oracle cards first and then we'll have a look at the tarot. So let's see what one do we want first to this one. Okay, so we have Kundalini rising, channel your creative passion and sensuality, welcome the transformation. We have dragons, pet, communication between species, animals, pets, magical companionships, guardianship. And then we have glimpse, indigo, rainbow, crystal children and beyond. We have the deer and we have the turtle. Okie dokie. So I feel like your person is going to be a very sensitive, genuine person. There's somebody who's gone through a lot. They're very empathic. They've kind of been, got, they've gone through quite a few narcissistic people. This could be even family that they've spoken to or just had dealings with in their life. And they possibly could be hiding because they're kind of not wanting to be rejected by you. So you may already know this person, but you may not be kind of intimate or connected to them yet physically. Like actually, like maybe you've met them at work, but you haven't actually re-spoken to them. So I feel like with this energy with the dragon's pet, I feel like you're somebody who can, who's very connected with animals. You're somebody who can really, really speak to animals and be just very connected with them. You may have a job where you are around animals a lot of the time. And I do feel like you and this person are very, very similar. You're both very mystical. You're both very, I'm hearing different. So you may be somebody who's very expressive with your hobbies and your looks. You may be kind of, I'm getting the word emo. So for those of you who don't actually like obviously go by that word but your kind of like aesthetic is quite dark and you kind of like things that are more almost on the gothic side this may be for you obviously I don't know the kind of term but everyone's different so however you are however you want to look that's kind of how you do you just kind of do your own thing and possibly when you were younger you were really kind of stepped on and told you you're not good enough because you're kind of like, like the outcast of the group you know that sort of thing so when I say outcast I mean like obviously it's the label, it doesn't really matter. But basically you were a sort of person who you kind of never really possibly got into any sort of group in your in your relationships in terms of like friendships and things. So I feel like for you guys, 
you're really coming back to your own personal power. You could be an indigo rainbow or crystal child as well, but you're really coming into a very strong, powerful energy. You're really recognizing who you are and both of you are extremely creative. I feel like you could be somebody who's an artist and they're an artist as well. They could have quite a lot of tattoos. They could be somebody who was also quite insecure. I'm getting very strong Pisces from this group, especially male Pisces. Obviously, if you're not wanting a male, just take it as it resonates. This is definitely gonna be somebody you're attracted to. So if I'm saying male and you're not attracted to them, obviously it'll be a female or you know the gender that you prefer. So with the deer and the turtle, this is gonna be somebody who's very gentle with you and somebody who really takes their time with you. They're not gonna rush. They're gonna be somebody who is very patient and they could really connect with water. It could be a water and an earth sign. I do feel like this connection is very genuine. It's very different as well. It's kind of like a connection you've never had before. And first of all, you may not be super, super connected to this person or you could meet this person and be like, oh, I don't know, this person's like got really intense energy. I'm not too sure. I don't want to be let down again. So you kind of retreat back and you kind of go into hermit mode. And I do feel like this person's going to really treat you well and they're going to help you to come out of your shell. You could be quite shy. So they're going to be somebody who's going to help you to bring that out. But also as well, for those of you who are very introverted, I feel like some of you guys, you feel like you're not going to meet someone because possibly you are introverted and you know, maybe that's not, you know, the way to meet anyone. But Trust me, if you're meant to meet somebody, you will meet them, okay? That's basically how it is with spirituality is it's all energy. So as long as you are attracting this person in and it's this, the right person, it's going to be the, the right person for you. You know, you're always, we're always kind of exuding energy. We're always on a, on a changing timeline. So we're always changing all the time. So I feel like for you guys, you may have glimpses of this person in your dreams as well. You could be very intuitively connected. So you may kind of have kind of glimpse in the corner of your eye of this person coming in, things like that. Like I feel very esoteric kind of fairy energy from this group, very, very light. And I do feel like you may connect with the deer or the turtle spirit as well, or even the snake spirit. But I feel like for you guys just really learn to channel that creative energy because that's really going to help fuel your fire in terms of kind of really getting you in your own energy and allowing you to express yourself and it doesn't have to be kind of cre exactly creatively it can be sexually as well it could be finding what feels right for you what feels good for you and kind of turning the taboo topic into something that's not taboo it's something that where you can fully express in your body you know and also when did it become taboo that's my question <laughs> Because at the end of the day, if it's your body, you should be able to explore it. And we all have genitals, you know, we all have them. Most, well, I'm guessing all of us do. So at the end of the day, if you've got them, freaking use them, girl. Like freaking use them, you know, that's what they're for. They're for exploration and pleasure and, you know, making babies. So you want to use them for their highest power you know you really want to connect with that and not being embarrassed about it if you are a very sexual person you know let that come through in your, in your conversations obviously maybe not all of them but when you feel comfortable with somebody let them know you know let them know what you really like because obviously if you are comfortable with that communication then go for it you know if you, when you meet this person it will really empower you as well to just speak your truth and really be very open because at the end of the day they're most likely going to be like that as well so you can meet this person at work for you guys. It could be a through a hobby as well. I feel like it's something that is going to join you two together in terms of something you really love doing. And I do feel like with the North Node Destiny and Balance, there's definitely something to do with kind of making sure the universe is like pushing you on the right path. So if things kind of go astray and they don't really go the way you want them to, just allow that to happen because the universe is putting you on that path. So, so you can meet your person. Your person will most likely appear around when you have a new career or work or hobby that is very much aligned with your nature. So say if you're very empathic and you really wanna do like a job to do with healing and you really, really enjoy it, that is the most likely way you're gonna meet your person because you're gonna really enjoy doing this and it's gonna enable you to actually access the parts of you that you've possibly been pushed down because of society or pressures or things like that. So let's get some extra information. How are they gonna meet them? Okay, so we have the first house, we have the south node, and we have Virgo. Okay, so definitely to do with helping yourself, definitely to do with healing your energy. So Virgo is all about the self, it's all about kind of healing yourself and really connecting with your health. 
So also the first house is the self. It's to do with your approach to life. It's your identity and things like that. And also with the self node, this is to do with releasing. So essentially, the more you are kind of changing up your routine, it may be you're going on a like a, if you go running, you could run, run somewhere different and that's how you meet them. It could be you get your coffee somewhere different and that's how you meet them. It's basically the way you're changing up yourself and your routine and how you're approaching your life is going to change. That's how you're going to meet them. Essentially, you're releasing all this old energy around yourself. So I do feel like your person's coming in quite soon for you guys. I feel like you may even know who this is. I'm getting like, I can see them right now. So kind of like if you're sitting in your office and there's somebody opposite you, that's them. You know, like I feel like it's somebody who sits quite close to you at work or it's somebody that you're very, very aware of. So let's get another timing just to make sure. Okay, so the number 10 as well. So definitely to do with career, number 10 is to do with career, the 10th house. So it could be in about 10 months as well. I feel like 10 months to a year if you don't know who this person is. I feel like for you guys it's a little bit longer because there's definitely some sort of change in the energy, but if it isn't that long and you feel like, oh, it's quite soon, 10 weeks at the most I'm feeling. It doesn't feel like too, too long. Um, but obviously this is a general reading. It's gonna be different for every single person. Okay, I do feel like your person's very serious. So somebody who's also very caring and very nurturing as well. So I do feel like they're gonna be able to physically provide for you and also sexually provide for you as well. So the main energy in this relationship. Oh my God, oh my God, Ace of Cups. Wow, that is stunning. I don't know if you can hear the wind and the rain, but it's so relaxing. I actually really like it today. So I definitely feel like for you guys, this person is gonna be the ultimate best relationship you have ever had in your friggin' life, okay? This is somebody who you're gonna be like, oh, that's why I had to go through that. You know, that's why. Everything's gonna make sense. Some things maybe may not make sense because you know, some things are just, you, you just never know. But your soul knows, we, we don't know. <laughs> and on a human level, we don't know. I just move one of my petals, whoopsies. When I breathe too heavily, the petals move. Um, but yeah, there's definitely an energy of like really being very calm, very romantic. This is so cute. Like I love how she's just relaxed and he's just kind of like sniffing her hair or whispering in her ear. I just, isn't that just so sweet? I just love the energy of this kind of calm energy. They're gonna calm you down as well. I feel like you're somebody who can get quite excited very easily about things. Um, this relationship is going to be very exciting for you as well. It's going to create a lot of tension in your life in terms of good tension. Like it's going to be very fiery and the sex life is going to be absolutely beautiful. It's going to be very easy as well. You don't have to entertain this person. This person is going to be very turned on towards you, especially those of you who are wanting a male because the Ace of Wands is very much <clears throat> about a phallic symbol. So for you guys, this person is going to be really turned on when they meet you. Obviously, as a feminine as well, but with that energy, that's more to do with kind of like the masculine energy I'm picking up on. So that's really beautiful. So we also have the four of pentacles. So the four of pentacles is all about kind of becoming stable within your money and, but also to not hold back. I feel like when you meet this person, you may kind of hold your emotions in because you're very excited and you don't want to kind of, you know, let your guard down because you're just really excited about this person. There's going to be a massive magnetizing energy towards this person. So I wouldn't be surprised if you literally had sex on the first date. Um, I would not be surprised at that if that's something that obviously that you want to do. I don't feel like there's any pressure, but I feel like you're going to naturally, it's going to naturally occur. So if it's something that you want to do and it comes into the situation, I feel like you're going to be like, yes, please. Um, we do have the four of chalices, four of cups and the four of pentacles. So it does feel like you're going to be very balanced around this person. It feels like, wow, this person makes me feel really calm. Um, that possibly is different to other relationships that you've been in and it's going to make a massive difference to you. You're going to feel very different around this person. You're going to be like, wow, this is so easy. Oh, I got a beautiful Hierophant. This person's really good at handling themselves. They could be actually your boss as well, or they could be a boss of a company and essentially they have all the tools that you need. How many nights actually, but also to do with your love life as well and your career. They could have kind of the thing that you need in your career. Maybe like, I really wanna work with somebody, but I don't know how I'm gonna attain that. And then you do attain it and it's really beautiful. I love this devil card. The way he's just like holding a penis is just amazing. <laughs> I love that so much. So I feel like this person can really handle um, 
toxic energy i feel like they've gone through quite a lot in their life there's somebody who has transformed a lot in their life and this is really going to change their energy so i feel like they have definitely controlled and worked through their emotions and they've gone very deep into their so subconscious so they've kind of worked on this kind of intense part and also the devil is, is capricorn but it's also sex you know it rules sexuality so i do feel like this person is somebody who knows you is going to know you inside and out quite quickly i feel because there's somebody who can see very deeply into your eyes very very intense person i'm feeling could be a scorpio as well it just feels like they're in control they're, they're earthy but they're also very deep they're the ace of pentacles gorgeous so definitely feels like this person's gonna be very stable they could be quite a slow mover so i do feel like either one of you is the quite slow mover and the other one is kind of like the person who's kind of shimmying the um the relationship along to kind of get you guys to to kind of come together so you basically um kind of balance each other out but with the knave of pentacles i do feel like this person may want to give you kind of gifts and things and that may be your kind of love language if, love language but if it isn't i do feel like you guys are really going to enjoy that anyway because i think this person is going to want to treat you they're going to want to to do things for you and it could be things that are possibly out around the house and stuff like that it could be like helping you diy and stuff but also it could be like just literally like cooking for you and stuff oh can you like i can just see okay i can just see this like half naked man and he's in the kitchen and he's got this like six pack and i'm like damn okay okay and he's like cooking oh it's nice it's nice so those of you who don't want a man obviously this isn't just for those of you who want a man but that's just a really strong message i got very very attractive so i'm picking up on somebody who's got very dark brown hair and somebody who has white caucasian skin for those of you this person may have slightly darker like tan skin so i'm picking up on somebody who's very pale almost like this skin skin tone but also this kind of skin tone as well like a more kind of warm toned energy obviously it's completely up to you who you are it's just obviously a general reading so it doesn't have to be um, um it doesn't have to be skin color really honestly doesn't matter but if that's somebody you are attracted to then that's great if not then obviously it's not going to be that person you just got to take it as it resonates so yeah i'm really picking up on some gorgeous energy here guys so thank you so much for watching if you would like a private reading uh, please look down below i actually have an 18 plus reading available so that will be along with my love readings also the last um, message i want to say is you guys this person might watch you brush your hair and it might be very relaxing to this person or they might like stroke your hair and that'd be really relaxing to them so thank you so much for being here guys um if you'd like to check out my crystal store as well that information is down below thank you so much for being here i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number three thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so the first card we have out is ruby one of my absolute favorite crystals especially for love and sensuality it's just a very fiery hot passionate crystal it's really good for getting you in your like sexuality getting you in your sexy mood getting you feeling good okay so we have when you want to show the world you're both beautiful and ferocious i just burped <laughs> that's clarification um when your sex life needs a heaping tablespoon of spice when the doldrums have you down reach for ruby and some really red lipstick and come out swinging so it also says anyone with something worth fighting for any aries where to put it in a ring on the hand with you throw punches with in the boudoir so i do feel like you guys could actually have an engagement ring from this person with a ruby in it if that's something that you really like i'm also hearing the name ruby so you guys might have the name ruby but also you may have a tattoo that is that color but also could be like a ruby crystal or a ruby ring could be on your arm i'm feeling that some sort of something to do with ruby could be on your arm or tattooed on your leg or something like that so we're going to have a look at the tarot in just a second so let's start off with the oracle cards first so let's see what we have we have the eagle beautiful we have the ladybird luck and the riddle fisher divination seeking out and finding answers so we have number three here so number three is all about communication i feel like it's about finding your voice and finding yourself and finding out what feels feel, what feels really good for you so i do feel like for you guys you're definitely going to be moving in with this person quite quickly i'm really looking at the key here and also you're finding the key i'm hearing you're finally finding the key so 
it's kind of like you are waiting for your person and really wondering kind of where they are and then you magically kind of manifest them like kind of out of the blue it could be for some of you guys you may get inkling of them coming in because they may be somebody who's kind of observing you and if those of you who are very intuitive you might get really strong intuitive hits of this person coming in so it may be in your dreams but also you may have a, like a presence that someone's almost like around you but obviously if this is a negative energy then feel free to just kind of like push it away and say no or I release any energies that are no longer mine because obviously if you don't want something in your around your energy you don't actually have to have them around you because I get that sometimes I get people kind of coming in just like random energies and I don't want them because obviously with the work that I do I have to be careful not to kind of pick that up because it's not mine so you have to be very careful just be like no nope, I'm done and just imagine like a door shutting and they're on the other side so stuff like that but also I just feel like your emotions are really flying I feel like you're really learning to feel more you're really and you are somebody who feels a lot I do feel like you are somebody who lets emotions come out really easily um it could also be you feel a little bit stuck sometimes and I feel like you're learning to really focus on your heart chakra so with the ladybird luck all your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard so it's really interesting how the ladybird is quite a similar color to the ruby here so ladybirds could be a very big symbol for you guys in love i feel like it could be a very big symbol in terms of when love comes in so look out for ladybird and look out for the eagle so when it says divination seeking out and finding answers you may have a reading that kind of tells you more about your partner it could be that you suddenly find out something that's a big synchronicity and that is kind of showing you that your partner's coming in but also it could be that you meet your person through a tarot reading it could be something as strange as you get a tarot reading and it could be somebody a tarot reader knows or it could be somebody who you have like a spiritual friend and they know somebody it just feels like it's very synchronistic it's kind of like sliding doors and getting that uh, film called sliding doors it's kind of like that really kind of synchronistic serendipitous kind of energy and with the ladybird it said all your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard so it's almost like you need the confirmation that all the things that you've been working on are for good you know it's kind of like you're not just doing it just for the sake of it you know the universe is listening and you are manifesting what you want and with the eagle this is a very very strong message of things coming in as in like a big sign so eagles are used in um in tribes to kind of have like a big sign to to know that something's really changing or to f to help find something so i do feel like the eagle is a really big synchronistic energy and it's showing that basically your person is out there finding you your souls are going to meet very very soon I do feel like for you guys, the number three is showing me it could be about three months that you meet this person. It could be a little bit less than that. It could be like three weeks. It could be the third month of the month. It could be that this person has their birthday on the third and it could be very synchronistic. It's something like that. It just feels very synchronistic. But obviously take it as it resonates. It, could be, it just feels very, very soon. It feels like you can meet this person very, very soon. I feel like probably you and number four, and I haven't even done number four yet, but I feel like you and number four are probably the closest to meeting your people. I feel like you have kind of gone through all the rubbish that you need to go through and all your soul's kind of karmic energy before you kind of end up in this relationship. And I feel like you've definitely learned a lot in your relationships and how to really not rush them and let them kind of flow naturally even though I'm hearing that you want to rush it but that's okay that's normal okay so let's pick up and see what we have in terms of the zodiac signs picking up on a Taurus quite strongly Ooh, I like this seventh house yes queen so you most likely could be best friends before you end up in a relationship it could be that you want to kind of be quite um connected I'm getting Scorpio here that could be it could be a fixed sign so Taurus I'm hearing actually Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but also Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo as well. I feel like this person, I'm hearing a play date. So this person could, you and this person could have children and you end up meeting at like daycare or something or nursery. This person could have Leo in their chart as well. I feel like this person's going to be really, really fun. There's somebody you can have a lot of fun with. So 56 could be quite a strong number for you or 65. Also the number two. So you guys are going to be, doing really really well in your job when you meet this person or you could be really finding out your life purpose in your career obviously career and life purpose can be two different things but I do feel like in this circumstance I feel like you guys are really seeing really um kind of manifesting a lot of potential in your life you guys are you guys are really seeing a lot of blessings coming in like that little ladybird and I feel like your partnerships are going to be very very closely connected it's almost like you're going to start to manifest more partnerships as in like friendships and co-workers who really really 
want to be around you and really want to support you and just really supportive long-term friendships. So obviously Scorpios are very, very sexual, very primal, very transformative and intense. So the relationship with your person is going to be very intense. You could be, as I say, manifesting a Scorpio. You could also be a Scorpio. But I do feel like the connection is very intense. It's like this person will basically like... It's just, they're just so loyal, they're so down for you. And there's somebody who is gonna really encourage you. They're gonna be somebody who, when you go through kind of intense cycles with this person, you're gonna grow from it and learn from it and carry on. It's not gonna be like, oh, a bit stumbling and they're gonna break up. No, it's gonna be like, you guys are really gonna work on things very, very easily. And I feel like your, your work life is gonna really change when you meet this person. It's something to do with your work life becoming more organized, I'm hearing. It's kind of like you're able to really invest yourself in your work. And it's going to be a really, really fun relationship. It's going to be very creative, very passionate, very easy. It's going to be somebody who's going to um, kind of bring in the lighter side of life. You might be someone who's quite serious. Um, this person's going to be very light energy and they're going to kind of bring that in or, or kind of opposite. Like you could be the fun, more kind of like lighter side and they could be very intense. It's kind of like you bounce each other out. I do feel like this person's going to be very romantic and you're most likely going to have children with this person as well well so let's have a look and see how you're going to meet them or any other information okay so we have Sag we have the eighth house of course we have the eighth house this is your Scorpio so that's beautiful and then we have Saturn okay so the Sag energy is all about somebody who's very passionate very driven somebody who also likes to travel so they're very travel orientated there's somebody who when you have sex with this person it's going to be in so many different places so it's not going to be one place in the house it's going to be like every single room okay it's going to be like lots of different rooms and I feel like with the um, Sag as well it's somebody who's very open-minded there's somebody who sees the potential in you and they and you see the potential in them and it's going to be very open like they don't judge you at all there's somebody who just sees how much amazing you are and with the Saturn energy this is somebody who's going to really change your life you could have Saturn in your eighth house but also Saturn you could be going for a Saturn return when you meet this person as well but also Saturn could be kind of in Sagittarius or something it could be like it could be a some sort of astrological synchronicity so let's get another let's get a timing to do with this energy here so number four so very very stable it could be the next four weeks that you meet this person as well it feels very soon it feels very soon so it could be around the timings that I mentioned as well it definitely feels like something to do with your work or your kind of things that you're really invested in so things like your daily routine that could suddenly switch up and then that's how you meet them it's like something easy happens so it's kind of like you don't actually notice something shifting and then boom they come in it's kind of like the universe is like oh let's just quickly tweak it before she notices you know or he or she notices it because obviously being if you are a Scorpio or a fixed sign you're going to be somebody who notices every single detail okay so and sometimes fixed signs aren't very good with change so I do feel like to get you to meet this person it's going to be really really subtle but also kind of could be like a day when everything goes wrong and then that's how you beat them. It's kind of like, oh, that's how. But you may not even realise that they're your person to start off with. That's my that's why it may be a little bit confusing. But you're gonna get to know this person, it's gonna be really, really comfortable. And you could meet them around your house. It could be that they're quite or they could be that you meet them in your house. Like it could be that you meet them on social media in your house, like and then you kind of get to know them they could be somebody from a different country or somebody who is very worldly or somebody who's really open they're very mature they're somebody who has really worked on themselves and done the kind of inner work okay so let's see the main energy around you guys the six of swords interesting so you guys have been through a lot of kind of transformation and I feel like you guys have really gone through intense intensities in your life and I think it's now time for you to really manifest somebody who's down for you and I feel like this person is going to be so loyal it's insane like they really want to work with you and really want to kind of come into a very big connection with you and it just feels really really good and I'm getting this massive tingling at the top of the right the right top of my head it feels really weird it's kind of like when someone get those metal like prong things that they do to massage your head kind of feels like that it feels so weird whoa 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 oh it feels very weird okay so I feel like your mental energy is going to change around this person I feel like you're not going to be the same person when you meet them I feel like comparing yourself like a year ago you're like a completely different person and I feel like you're going to be much more relaxed when you're around this person it's going to be a very relaxed connection it's going to be very very easy okay and you don't have to I'm hearing you don't have to manipulate the connection you just got to be yourself Okay, and that may be quite difficult for you, especially if you've had to 
feel like you have to fake your connections and fake how you are so you can be with somebody and that's totally normal you know that's totally normal to feel like that especially if you've had to do that possibly in early childhood and things like that but you're definitely going to manifest somebody who's really good for you and someone very easy and they're going to love your booty they're going to love your booty okay you could be somebody who likes art as well somebody who's really into art it could be a cancer moon as well somebody's very connected to the moon you could like doing like full moon rituals and you could be saying to this person i manifested you on a full moon <laughs> how cute is that oh i love this got the star this is going to be a very divinely timed relationship something that's just meant to happen it's just like no absolutely no doubt about it five of cups in the reverse yeah no more heartbreak no more heartbreak anymore guys you're ready for this person so you could be a fire sign as well you could be somebody who's just extremely passionate about what you do and about life and we have the ace of swords so it could be an air sign that we manifest but also somebody who's really really good at communicating um somebody who is really good at kind of telling you um what they want and what they need and then in turn you're able to tell them what you need i do feel like dirty talk is going to be very important to you guys going to be something that really kind of connects you together and I feel like you guys really sit down and talk about things when you want when you need to have a conversation so it could be that when you guys have like an argument or a little bit of disagreement you just talk it out and then it's done you know like it's really really simple and easy and it's nothing that you have to excuse me I, I just burped and it's clarification um it could be yeah it's just like you don't even need to worry about it so I feel like you guys have gone through a lot of manipulation and you might be a little bit wary of this person when you first meet them but you actually you have absolutely nothing to worry about it's gonna be super super easy and they're gonna notice things about you that are very very kind of things that you wouldn't really notice about yourself and it's gonna be very very sexual like it's gonna be somebody who just really appreciates you appreciates your body and they don't even really notice you as a body they just notice you as a soul which is so gorgeous like they really don't they love you they absolutely adore your body but they're like i just appreciate every single part of you and i feel like when i said that i feel like i said it in a male voice so for those of you who really want a masculine i'm feeling that's an extra message for you guys so that is your reading guys i really hope you enjoyed it i want to pull one more card actually nine of chalices so yeah you guys have really had kind of a hard time choosing things as well you feel like you're kind of going to miss out but you're not going to miss out on this person i feel like you could be around roses when you meet this person as well or your name could be rose or something like that um but i do feel like there's a ma magical energy around this connection it feels really really beautiful so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal shop please do all the information is down below i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon much love bye hello group number four thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so the first card we have out is how light this crystal is really good for helping you sleep so those of you've been struggling with sleep this can be really good for you guys so it says when you need a break from never-ending onslaught of dms meeting requests and trending stories less is more none is most how light can help organize your headspace so who needs it overstimulated minimalist in a maximalist world wherever you need some breathing room so for those of you who have been really overthinking this is going to be some this is going to be some really good crystal for you guys it's going to be really really beautiful i love this let's have a look at the rest of the cards i'm going to look at the tarot in just a second we have Raven, wise woman, a change is coming. We have the secret path, an irresistible pull down a distinct path, ley lines, mystical traditions. We have the peacock and we have the cosmic egg. So we have the number 44. So this is all about you guys getting balance, you guys finding your structure and finding your balance in your life. So for you guys, I don't feel like you're going to be in an unbalanced place when you meet this person. I feel like you're going to be in a very good place. But also it could be this person helps you to find that balance as well. So... I do feel like you can meet this person when you're out walking in nature. It could be when you're walking your dog. But I do feel like it could be kind of very, very distinct. So it feels like you're going to kind of be traveling somewhere and then you get kind of a pull to go somewhere. But also it could be that you, this person just magically appears in your path out of nowhere. It's very, very synchronistic. And I feel like there's a massive change coming in your life, in your, in your love life. You're going to see a massive change. So I do feel like in terms of how you're going to meet them, it could be just very, very random. It could be out in nature, but it could also mean that something shifts in your life so you can meet this person. So it could be something to do with kind of what could be work related, I'm feeling. It could be something to do with something changing in your work environment. So you may be switching up your work. You could be doing something different for work. 
but also I feel like for you guys there is definitely something about looking down a path and thinking I want something different so it's definitely you're going to make a conscious choice to change something up and you're definitely wanting more out of your life you're wanting so much more than what you already have and you're going to manifest that you're going to manifest a life where you can really be yourself and I'm hearing originality is exactly what the world needs right now so I feel like it's really important for you to just express yourself and to get noticed I feel like you're going to get noticed by this person a lot especially because you're going to be really um, opening up to your spirituality in terms of possibly meditating but also really connecting to your spirit guys and with the cosmic egg you're going to be meeting this person possibly at a very random stage so you might not even realize that they are your, they are your future partner I do feel like it could be you or this person or both of you who's kind of like quite holding on to your spirituality quite tight so because of your spirituality, it could be something that you are kind of scared about expressing. So you may kind of hold on tight to it because you may have been rejected before in the past. So I do feel like you're going to be kind of hold, holding this in until you're going to be able to feel comfortable to express it. And you may feel the need to kind of almost hiss at the person because you're kind of like, I don't really want you in my life. It's not really good timing. But I do feel like it's because you guys have been hurt a lot and I feel like you're going to manifest this person at the right time that's good for you. And the peacock here is showing me that you guys are going to really see this person as they are. You're going to, because I feel like you're sort of people who are very intuitive, but also you can see like the deeper parts of things. So when you see this person, you're going to be like, oh my God, there's something about this person that I really, really like, but I'm not sure what it is. But then you find out that actually you're meant to meet this person and you, and you, the universe put you on a distinct path so you can actually get there. I do feel like it's definitely be, going to be a distinct pull to it. And you could be very much interested in ley lines and things like that. Or you could do like mystical traditions. That could be something that you like to do. And then you get your partner involved in that. It could also be that your partner likes to do this as well. I feel like look out for significant birds that you don't normally see around where you live. And also I feel like snakes are quite an important thing to do with like transformation and really kind of going to that deep place in yourself and I feel like you're relearning to kind of discover different parts of you that you haven't really met before I'm feeling okay alrighty so let's have a look at the rest of your card so let's have a look at your um zodiac signs first and then we're going to have a look at the tarot okay so let's see who's going to come in for you guys Oh my god, number number three got this as well. Very mysterious person. They're very intense. There's somebody who is very much into spirituality. Spirituality is just part of this person's life. They ha I don't feel like they've gone through a transformation. They may have done in terms of their spiritual spirituality, but I feel like they naturally have always been very intuitive. There's somebody who feels a lot, and they could have been kind of discouraged because of that. Could be a Libra that you meet as well. Could be a Libra moon or Scorpio moon. I do feel like this person is somebody who allows others to express their feelings towards them. There could be somebody who um, is somebody who likes to grow plants and things in their house. They're very connected to nature. They have quite a grounding energy. There's somebody who really allows you to express yourself. And there's somebody who could be really well dressed. Whenever I get a sleep card, I get somebody who's well dressed. Yeah, they've gone through a lot of healing. There's somebody who's gone through quite a few different types of rebirths, but in terms of their spirituality, I feel like they've always been very, very switched on in terms of their spiritual energy. I feel like they're always, they've always been somebody who's very, very just kind of connected to the occult. And I feel like they're very, very passionate about life. There's somebody who's very, very intense, mysterious, but they're also somebody who's very socially aware. They're really, they've really learned to kind of not to people please and to just be themselves. They're very sensitive as well. So there's somebody who, when you meet them, you're going to be like, wow, this person, I can tell that they're like kind of vibing with my energy right now. And there's somebody who is very, very graceful. They're very aesthetically pleasing. It could be either a Libra or a Scorpio as well, but they could have both of these in their chart. There's somebody who's very much into possibly like the occult, as I said, or psychic abilities or something to do with their intuition. It could be that they're very much into like ghost hunting and things like that. It could be that you're more of the possibly like a hippie and they're more of like somebody who's into like ghosts and things. It could be like a different type of kind of spiritual person. It just that you meet up really well and you match up really well and you have things in common where you have like tv shows that you both really like as well and it i feel like both you could really like watching documentaries as well about things that possibly is about nature or plants or 
you know, things that are very mysterious. You just, you really like to delve, dive deep into things. And the first thing I'm hearing is you probably will ask this person what their birth chart is, <laughs> which I love. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, so we have the sixth house. This is all to do with Virgo. We have Sag and we have Mars. So you could have Mars in Sag, but also you could have the sixth house, something to do with your sixth house. So you could have Virgo rising, Virgo moon, Virgo sun, something like that. Or you could have Virgo in your sixth house. You could be somebody who's very much into health and routines. And this somebody could be, this person who you're going to meet, this, this somebody, this person who you're going to meet is going to be part of your routine. It's almost like you're very independent and you may have trouble kind of accepting this person firstly. But then after a while, you realize how much of a beautiful soul they are and you kind of invite them in and kind of help them to... I feel like you're helping them to kind of realize the healthier parts of life. So you could be somebody who's quite health orientated and you help this person to kind of come into like a more healthier lifestyle. This person could become vegan as they meet you as well. Or they could be somebody who has recently turned pescatarian or they could be very more, they could be quite conscious of their diet when they meet you as well. I do feel like they're going to definitely be part of your daily routines. So they could be somebody who lives with you quite early on. They could be somebody who you could even meet at university and that could be like, I'm seeing you two brushing your teeth together. So it could be like, you could live with each other in the dorm or something. But also, I feel like you guys are going to move in quite quickly. I feel like you want to move quite quick because you both have quite a strong Mars placement. So you're both somebody who's very driven and you are very practical as well. So let's get into the timing. Let's see about timing in terms of this person. So number one, so it could be in around a year. I'm feeling around when you kind of meet your soul, when you finally come into a place where you're really, really happy with your, with the way your life is in terms of not so much externally, but more internally, like you've really kind of found your footing and you've really kind of found yourself. And I feel like for you guys, some of you guys might want to be a, a wet nurse or a doula or um, a, can you give me the word please? What's the word? Could be a, is it a wet nurse? I don't know what, it, what the word is. I don't think it's a, no, not a wet nurse. Sorry, guys. Um, a midwife. Sorry, midwife. I'm pretty sure it's a midwife. Somebody who helps deliver the baby. I'm sorry, I forgot that word wrong. Somebody who helps deliver the baby. That's what I'm feeling. So, um, I feel like for you guys, this, this person's definitely coming in around a year's time. I feel like it could be around a month as well, but obviously you take it as it resonates. Obviously, this is a general reading, so it's going to be different for all of you guys. But I feel like this person's very angelic. They could be into kind of angels and archangels and things like that. They could be, they could even have the word angel in their name. They could be actually called like angel or they could be named after an archangel, something like that. Um, but I, I feel like this person could also have been previously religious and they kind of, kind of, they kind of dropped the religious, almost like controlling part of it. And they kind of felt they want to be more free away from that. Um, but obviously you don't actually have to, you doesn't have to be controlling you guys. Like if you both are very religious, it could be that as well. It could be you both kind of meet through your religion. It could be you guys meet at church or something, or it could be that you guys just kind of meet through some sort of connection that you both have that you love so say if you both love tarot you kind of go to like a tarot meetup or something when we're able to meet up and things I feel like that could happen as well but yeah it just feels very very natural it feels like you're really meant to meet each other so I love that that's beautiful so let's have a look at your tarot and let's see what's going on there okay so the main energy for you guys in terms of the tarot is the Knight of Cups. Beautiful, so very, very generous energy. This person is very generous. They could have really strong Pisces energy in their chart, but I feel like this person is just really able to access their intuition and access their heart chakra. I feel like this person is very genuine. There's somebody who's just very innocent. They're very nerdy as well. Somebody who is very into something that they really, really love. So say if they really love Marvel or they really love like Nintendo or gaming or just something that's very cutesy and fun. I feel like it just, they have their own little hobbies and they kind of stick to them and they really love them and they want to share that with you. This could be part of their job as well. They could actually do their hobby as a job and it could be just something that they really love doing as well. So you guys have possibly had some sort of com communication fault, I'm hearing, with a father figure or a masculine in your life. And it could be that maybe you weren't ever able to speak your truth with masculines, um, or it could be that you were overruled by a masculine in your life. And I feel like this has really shaped your love life. This has shaped how you interact with your love life. And you're not gonna have this anymore. You're no longer gonna be able to 
You might push away as person at first because you're scared of the intimacy, but that's okay because that's quite normal. So I do feel like this person is going to tell you that basically it's going to be a brand new situation. You're both going to be very, very connected and it's the start of a new, a new life. I'm hearing a whole new world from Aladdin. So this person could actually look like the person from Aladdin, <laughs> the little cartoon. So someone with black hair, um, slightly tanned skin, somebody who could be from um, Arabia or um, I'm hearing the, I'm hearing, what else am I hearing? I'm actually hearing Africa. Uh, I'm hearing um, a country beginning with K, which I cannot, I can't think of the name right now. I'm also hearing Australia as well. So it feels like somewhere quite hot. Um, it doesn't actually have to be that they are literally from that place. It could be their parents are from there and that's why they possibly look as the way they do. But I feel like it's the, you're kind of worried about this person pulling the rug under your feet. And I feel like this is going to be part of your learning curve is to just trust this person. This person's very sexual. We've got King of Pentacles. So I feel like this person's quite slow. They could be a Virgo, a Sag, a Taurus or a Capricorn. Sorry guys, my brain is quite slow. It's like really late at night filming this. Um, but I feel like you guys are just going to really recognize this person when you meet them. And it's no more of that kind of energy of back and forth. You're gonna realize that this is the right person for you. I'm hearing this person could be on a stage. So it could be that this person is into acting or singing and this you kind of meet them through that. It could be you're a singer or an actress. Um, and then that's how you meet them. I'm just seeing this person like, on a stage dancing or singing or something like that. And then you're watching from the stage that you're watching from the side of the stage or in the audience. And you're like, that's my man or that's my woman. And then we have the 10 of cups. So ultimate happiness, very, very easy connection. This is gonna be somebody who you really love and somebody who you very, very much connect to. So in terms of sexuality, this person's got quite big shoulders. I feel like this person, you're gonna to love touching their shoulders. They're gonna be somebody very energetic, so they're quite hard to pin down. But when you have um, intimacy and sex with them, it's gonna be very, very fun and just very, very energetic. It's gonna be very, very fast moving. And I feel like this person's very romantic. They're gonna be somebody who takes it really slow with you. And I'm hearing there's no kind of jealousy. It's gonna be very easy connection. It's gonna be really able to just connect with each other. And the Knight of, Pen Knight of Cups here is like, I'm gonna give you everything, you know? And if you want anything, then I will try my best to give it to you, you know? It could be sexually, but also in kind of things that you need in your life to so say if you need money or you need like um, something, I don't know, something physical. It could be like a car, they could literally buy your car. <laughs> <laughs> if that's something you want and if that's something they can afford then that could be something that they get you so with the lovers in the fall it's kind of like a brand new start in your love life so you may have kind of gone through some kind of harsh breakups before you meet this person I do feel like you are manifesting a really good strong connection and the fall here is showing me that this is like a long-term commitment okay and I feel like with the sexual energy I feel like I need to not really talk about the sexual energy in this group for some reason it feels more just kind of romantic and you guys, I feel like it's kind of like a secret for you guys. So I feel like for, for you guys, it's kind of like a slower connection. So I do feel like this person could also have, um, I feel like for men, this person could be, uh, have black curly hair for women. I feel like this person could have straight black hair. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Or they could dye the hair like different colors. Um, either gender doesn't really matter or any gender that you prefer. I do feel like you have quite a few flowers around your house as well. And um, with the King of Pentacles, I'm seeing this person is very, they're gonna take their time with you, okay? There's somebody who, sex I feel like is extremely important, but obviously I feel like you're gonna to get to know each other first and then the sex is gonna come later. I feel like you're gonna be, I feel like you're actually gonna know this person for about a year before you actually get into a relationship with them, but not all of you guys. This is more of you who are younger, I'm feeling like in university or school or college, something like that. Um, but yeah, I really feel like this is a very, very beautiful energy. I feel like this is somebody who's gonna be just really closely connected to you. And obviously when I say school, I mean people who are 18 or over, that's what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, definitely a strong connection. And I do feel like you guys are just gonna really love each other. And it's gonna be like easily able to express each other's passions. So say you're really passionate about drawing, you're gonna be able to express that with this person and you're gonna be able to easily express what you love about um, life to each other as well. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal shop, please sit down below in the, in the description box down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.